Hi, uh, I'm live. Sorry, I'm a bit late. Is that angle look a bit weird? I just look generally weird without my beard. Um, so, a bit late tonight, and I just got this question here from Laura about the BMI. Why BMI 30 is? Uh, I hope the audio is okay. Uh, why BMI 30 is the ideal weight for a, actually just the ideal weight? Um, I've got a feeling that uh, Laura's put this question down because I did a blog post about this. Is that a blog post or a video? I did a blog post about it, I think it's this week or last week. And um, the terrible feeling this might mean that there weren't any questions, the fact that she's put that down, or maybe genuinely someone has asked that question. Um, but uh, it's a bit suspicious that that is the uh, thing that I did a blog post about on, um, recently. But anyway, nevertheless, try and drag it out. And if you have any questions live, then please ask them because I haven't got a huge amount to say on this. And if you do, are interested about why the BMI 30 is um, necessary for a surgery, then uh, I'll refer you to my blog post because I've <laughs> done blog post this. But anyway, save you going to the blog post. I'll tell you why it is um, most well for private practice. Actually, I don't know what most people do, actually. I, I have a BMI of 30 for a cut-off for most cosmetic body contouring operations. Um, and uh, that is because uh, the studies, the way they've looked at it, have suggested that a BMI of below 30 has got a lower rate of complications than a BMI above 30. Having said that, it is, like most things in life, not written in stone, and uh, you will find that there are occasion there are studies which have said the BMI above 30 is still okay, and you can do surgery BMI of 30, so you wouldn't be wrong to do a BMI of above 30. Um, so that, that the BMI being 30 is one aspect of it, um, but... Um, the main thing for me, more than the actual absolute value of the BMI, is whether you're stable with your weight, because if you have weight fluctuations after surgery, did I speak about this before? But anyway, if you have weight fluctuations after surgery, then um, it can have an effect on your result either way, if you put it on or, or lose it. So you're better to have a stable weight prior to having um, surgery, because you don't want to have an unpredictable effect on your um on your weight, on your results. So a lot of body contouring surgery is tightening stuff up, tightening skin and what have you, and a lot of body contouring surgery is needed because of weight loss, because you lose the weight, you lose the fat, you don't lose the skin, and the skin hangs. And so if you put on, well, the worst thing you can do after surgery really is putting on and losing weight. Putting on weight in itself is not a problem because everything gets bigger, um, but you might not be happy with your shape, but it, you know, it's not a problem with things. The problem is when you put on and lose weight because then that um, makes the skin hang. Or if you were to have something like a tummy tuck or a mastopexy and you were to just lose weight because then you could have more hanging skin and a large part of a tummy tuck or a mastopexy is um, tightening skin. So that is the most important thing. And I think, you know, I'm going to have to put some... Oh, it's not giving me any of those marks. Um, that is the most important thing, that your weight is stable um, prior to having the surgery uh, because you want to avoid weight fluctuations after surgery, if you can. Obviously, we all live a life and you can't guarantee your weight won't fluctuate. The other thing is having children, so you can't guarantee you're not going to have children. But if you know that your weight wants to fluctuate, if you know that you want to put on some weight or lose some weight, uh, or if you know you want to have children in the quite soon future, not a word is it in the not too distant future then uh, you're better off waiting before having your surgery um, my blog post uh, is out there it's not unsurprisingly on my blog uh, where I talk about it I talk about it specifically with regards to tummy tuck but uh, the principles are the same for um, uh, any any body contouring surgery, obviously, obviously, if you're having other sorts of surgery which aren't involving um, changing the shape of your body, it's not quite so important. So I hope that's been of use. And I'm sorry, I'm a bit late today. 
And as ever, if there's any, I don't know what's going on here, I can't see if there's any, no, I don't think there is. If there's any comments or anything, then uh, I will ask them live. That would be great, you know, if you ask to comment live. Um, but uh, failing that, there is the, always the option to put a comment below and I will answer it um, below. But also I will um, talk about it next time. So I'm late. Why is this in me? Or is this a quick one? What time is it now? How long have I been on? Um, anyway, without further ado, that is the weight and surgery issue quite nicely dealt with. I think I, I think you agree. Um, and uh, look, oh, I haven't mentioned the beard's gone. You probably noticed, uh, but I do feel like I look like a lot of stubble, um, which I don't know if it's just video what I, I did shave this morning but it does look like I'm you know, a bit desperate down there so um, hey ho I'm gonna just shave twice a day um, anyway enough of my rambling uh, if, if no one else has got a question um, I think you could argue they're not oh <laughs> God, I tapped that a while ago sorry um, that was a Star Wars thing I thought I'd spice it up with a mark mask right okay let's uh that's, that's better than the last one um let's get rid of that <laughs> um so yeah uh, without further ado i'm gonna check out and uh and and call this uh, a night and uh hope to see you soon uh next week tuesday 7 p.m if i can do it i'm sorry about the late one tonight uh, I'll be there. I hope you can be there too. Oh, that's the other thing. Oh, I've left it right at the end of this to mention this. I've started a podcast. I should have said this right at the beginning. We've sorted it out. So we've got a podcast now of the Facebook Lives. So uh, it's there, I think. Well, it might take a while to get on the Apple Store and we're going to load all the Facebook Lives onto it. So how exciting is that? Uh, I'm sure you'll join me in, in your excitement of that and also we're looking at putting them on the YouTube um, so that is some quality material going on to those other um, modalities so I will have to mention that first time next time because I don't think many people have got this far in this broadcast because I haven't said a great deal I feel but maybe I have maybe I'll reflect on it and realize there's a lot I've said there but I hope that's been helpful to somebody and I'm um, gonna just say podcast of it I wish I could write on the screen podcast available can I write on the screen don't so no, write a comment no. um, so yeah we've got a podcast out there check it out Apple Store or iTunes rather and uh, look out for the Facebook live on YouTube if you're not a subscriber why not um, get subscribing pretty it's a pretty exciting place to be, this Diano Plastic Server YouTube channel. Anyway, um, thanks for being here. Thanks for giving me your time. And I'm going to go and do uh, some other cool stuff now. Okay, bye.